Welcome aboard the research vessel Anna. This 60-foot shrimping vessel was purchased by the Georgia Department of Natural Resources in 1968 and for more than 50 years has provided information about the health of fish populations. These data are key to properly managing Georgia's shrimp populations. Fisheries management is one of the tasks carried out by the Coastal Resources Division of DNR. Each month, the Anna surveys 36 sites along the Georgia coast. At every site, a 40-foot net called an otter trawl is pulled behind the boat for 15 minutes. The net sinks to the bottom where two wooden structures called doors pull the net open. A tickle chain at the mouth of the net rattles along the bottom, stirring up marine life that then become caught in the net. GPS is used to pinpoint the sites and return to the same location each time. This is important because CRD biologists need to have accurate data that can be compared against itself over and over again. Once the net has been towed for 15 minutes, it is reeled back aboard using a mechanical winch. The end of the net is cinched with a rope and the boat's crew can empty the catch over a special table called a culling table. The catch is released onto the table and biologists sort everything by species. Most of the shrimp found along Georgia's coast are Panaid shrimp, which include white, brown, or pink shrimp. Most of the shrimp commercially caught in Georgia are whites and browns. Over the past 10 years, commercial shrimpers have brought in an annual average of more than 2 million pounds of shrimp, with a yearly dockside value of about $9.2 million. As shrimp grow up or mature, they begin to move offshore, where commercial fishermen catch them in nets similar to the Annas. To take better measures of the reproductive cycle of shrimp, biologists survey six sound systems across Georgia's coast. Wausau, Ossabaw, Sapelo, St. Simon, St. Andrew, and Cumberland. In each of these systems, crews conduct trawls in two sites in rivers or creeks, two sites within the main part of the sound, and two sites offshore or near beaches. This helps give a better understanding of how many shrimp are in the area and at what stage of their life cycle they are in. When a net is emptied on the Anna's culling table, biologists count each of the shrimp, measure their lengths, and determine if they are male or female. One benchmark for shrimp used by commercial fishery regulators is called head count. This refers to how many shrimp it takes to make one pound. The more shrimp it takes, the smaller the shrimp will be. For example, if it takes 30 shrimp to make one pound, the shrimp weigh, on average, about half an ounce each. If it only takes 16 shrimp to make one pound, each shrimp weighs one full ounce. The average shrimp head count must be 45 or fewer for shrimping season to open. Similarly, the Commissioner of Natural Resources can close the shrimp season when shrimp head counts are 50 or more. The Commissioner can open shrimping season as early as May 15th and close it by December 31st. However, the season can be extended through January or February if the head count remains below 50. Although the Anna has been a trusty servant of the state of Georgia for more than 50 years, she is slated to be replaced in late 2020. A new boat christened the research vessel Reed W. Harris on June 26, 2020, and named for the author of the Coastal Marshlands Protection Act, will replace the Anna. The Harris is a 54-foot custom-built vessel that displaces 65,000 pounds. The Harris is expected to begin operations in the coming months. We hope you've enjoyed learning about CRD's work to conserve and protect Georgia's shrimping industry and look forward to seeing you at Coast Fest 2021.